Hello. Hi. Where have I been all these months? I mean, it's been some time and my video schedules were very erratic. And if you're asking me why, then that is because one, I was busy getting married. And two, I also moved cities. I am not in Bombay anymore. I moved to the land of books, to the city of books, and that is Bangalore. Yes, I know that. So finally, I kind of, you know, I'm not saying I'm still settled. I'm still settling here. Uh, it is a bit of a struggle when you move to a new city uh, with very limited people that you know around and you need to set up your entire home from scratch. So um, yeah, that was happening. And also, uh, you know, on the professional front, a lot of things were happening. But uh, yes, uh, this is the once in the blue moon video that you were expecting and here it is so like every year i am reading the women's prize shortlist this year as well and generally what i do is i start with some books in the long list that i'm interested in and then once the shortlist gets announced on 29th april uh and, and 29th april is generally a date that they stick to every year i start reading the shortlisted books so um, this year as well, I have some books that I'm really interested in reading from the long list because as I said, I select some interesting books from the long list, uh, you know, books that are interesting to me and start reading them. So it's a bit late for me to go through the entire long list and make a reaction video because I've already been through the long list. I've already read one book from the long list at this point of time. So this is what I'm going to do. You can, of course, check the long list out in the link below because that's the Women's Prize long list. But I am going to be discussing some books from the long list that I am super interested in reading and talking more about those books with you. So for this, I am going to be opening my trusty reading journal, which is something, if you do not know, link is in the description box. I've started like writing in my, you know, 2023 reading journal with some stickers and stuff. More on this later, but let's get to my list of books that I'm interested in reading. And the first book in this list that I'm super interested in is uh, Glory. And Glory was, of course, shortlisted for the booker as well and that's when I had my eyes on it but uh, in 2022 I did not read the booker prize because I just felt like um, I was really burnt out there were a lot of preparations going on and my life was totally about to change so I didn't read the booker at that time uh, but uh, I still want to read glory I have this book on audible right now and I can read it anytime I want and that's the plan that I'm, I'm going to stick to uh, I think I, I'll read it anyway, uh, irrespective of all the, um, I would say, long list, short list thing. I really wanted to read this book outside of book prizes as well. The next book that I really want to read is The Ballad Queens by uh, Parini Shroff. And for Bandit Queens, I mean, I... Uh, I'm planning to read this book. Uh, it's an interesting book because, okay, so I'm not sure uh, if you know why this is called The Bandit Queens. It's basically the story about uh, a set of women uh, who've been abused by their husbands and they're victims of domestic violence and they start uh, and they decide to take revenge against the husbands, okay? And if you do not know, uh, like, the original book, there's a book called The Bandit Queen, if you do not know, I'll put it somewhere here. And this is regarding, uh, again, uh, sexual violence and, you know, all of those things. And it's a true, the real life story of Fool and Devi. So I think that this is where the book is inspired or even the title is inspired. Like, uh, this was like, in, in India, if you say, call someone The Bandit Queen, it has to be Fool and Devi. So you can Google more on her and maybe you, I, I, I mean, if I, once I start reading the book, I'll start finding um, similarities between these two books, honestly, but I know it's not of the same topic. And uh, The Bandit Queens is a fictional book as well. But yeah, my point being, I'm interested to read this book and I, I will be reading it soon. The third book for me in this list is Memphis by Tara Strongfellow. Now, Memphis is a book that uh, I feel would be very similar to uh, The Mothers or The Vanishing Half uh, by Britt Benne. And um, I really like Britt Benne a lot. I like the themes that she explores in her books and I've never read Tara Strongfellow. So my plan is to read this mostly on audio whenever it becomes available. I'm not sure like uh, whether I will read it like ASAP. 
if it's if it gets shortlisted for sure i'll read it asap but i want to cover the diverse books first in the list and then get to memphis which is a more us centric book the next book that i'm really interested is uh, interested in is and this is something i'm currently reading and that is wandering souls by a cecile pen a pin i hope i pronounced the author's name correctly but you know i was researching about this author i was researching about the book because as i started reading the book i realized that it's about a time it's about an incident that i have very little idea about and when i started googling more about it uh, i realized that the author has a french father and a vietnamese mother and wandering souls is about vietnamese refugees uh, from you know the late 1970s and i i think for me it's very interesting because um i do not know much about vietnam historically politically i do not have much insight and this book is forcing me to search for that insight although this is not like a political book of any sort this is a book about refugees and uh, migration and things like that it's still very heartbreaking and it is an amazingly written book in in my opinion so i'm still reading it um i'm hoping that this gets shortlisted so far whatever i finished it is a women's prize worthy book it's worth uh the win i feel at this point of time but yeah let's see what books really get shortlisted the fifth book in this list that i'm super interested in is black butterflies by priscilla morris and uh, honestly it's been a struggle to check out where is this book available in india currently although the women's prize says that they have this whole collaboration going on with audible and all of the books should be available not audible most of them are yes but unfortunately black butterflies is not available as an audio book in india it's only available as a kindle book and it is kind of on the higher side it is an expensive version like the hardback itself is some 1.2 or 1.5k and the um you know kindle version is like 600 rupees plus something like that so i really really want to read this book but i only buy it once it's uh, shortlisted because i know this is going to be shortlisted it's a very very uh, gruesome and heartbreaking tale of a war it's set in you know bosnia uh, during the ethnic cleansing and that itself like gets me interested because it's a war story it's a nuanced story and um i'm looking forward to read it then coming to the next book the sixth book in the list and that is children of paradise by camila grudova and i am done with this book this is the book that i'm done with i read it on audio on script and uh children of paradise i would say is a very interesting book in the shortlist because it's not your conventional contemporary fiction or literary fiction for that matter it is contemporary fiction bordering on psychological horror and uh it talks about you know holly who's a protagonist and she's moved to scotland and she works in this theater which is called the paradise which shows these old movies and uh, there's not much traction there even the people who work there are super weird uh, super creepy things like that so i think the context and i think that the uh, entire setup of the story was pretty good i think it's well written as well however i am not a huge fan of the psychological horror genre i mean um, maybe because i don't like it being mixed with contemporary fiction or literary fiction in general but uh, you know do give it a try it's a novella at the end of the day and it is her debut novella uh, or debut book per se like in for the she's only written like horror short stories but uh, yeah it's a very unique book in the list i feel a very interesting book as well Uh, but honestly i don't want to see this book in the shortlist and then moving to the last book the seventh book that i'm really interested in reading and that is the marriage portrait by maggie fan now if you know me if you do not know me whatever it is hamnet is one of my favorite books of all time and i was so happy that uh, i was able to pick up hamnet and it won the women's prize uh, in 2020 as well it's a beautiful book with a beautiful cover and let me tell you I am looking forward to this. Now, I have heard mixed reactions about the marriage portrait and like having it, but um I would be going into the book with low expectations. I have a physical copy of the book as well that Surbhi had gifted me. Thank you Surbhi for the gift. It was a birthday gift actually. And uh 
yeah, I, I am looking forward to reading this book. Irrespective of it getting shortlisted, I am going to be reading this book anyway. I am hoping that, uh, you know, somewhere along the booktube prize line i get assigned this book because it is an amazing and i mean it feels amazing to uh, to read one of your favorite authors of all time and that being said this is the end of the video these are the seven books that, that i'm really interested in uh, reading from the uh, long list and uh, of course like i said i'm done with children of paradise i'm currently reading wandering souls as we are speaking and also i am um going to be reading glory soon so that is something on the charts as well but otherwise the other books yes uh, the marriage portrait that would be read even uh, maybe memphis or the bandit queens one of these i'm going to be reading for sure for 20th of april let's see how it goes let's see how the entire reading thing goes um and yeah i hope to be coming back more frequently of course but videos will still drop once in a blue moon while i'm settling in this new city um and uh, yeah that's it. That's it for this video. I have nothing else to say now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time whenever that is.